Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Ward. And today we learn uh, commands like uh, a miter flange, edge flange, hem, uh, sheet metal gusset, and uh, cutout mirror, etc. in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. So let's go to here new and uh, click part and click OK. And now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface. I am using SOLIDWORKS 2020. Okay. So first of all, I'll change my background to plain white. Okay. And let's go to here sheet metal and let's click here base flange and click this top plane. Okay. And uh, let's go to here rectangle. Uh, click here center rectangle and we'll make a rectangle of uh, let's say 200 by 120 and let's change this to 200 also change this dimension to 120 millimeters okay uh, click this and uh, click this uh, our sheet metal thickness is uh, 2 uh, 2 mm and uh, okay uh, k factor is 0.5 and uh, click this uh, next is uh, uh, we'll go to your miter flange and uh, we have to uh, create a sketch so select this face and click this normal to view and now we'll make a sketch select line tool and uh, click here a line here a line here a line here and one line here uh, let's dimension it go to smart dimension and click this line and change it to 25 uh, also uh, select this point and this point and change this dimension to 6 mm and also this dimension 6 mm vertically okay and uh, click this point this point hold control key and make it vertical now you can see that this line and this line uh, turn into black which means that these two lines and this line is fully defined this line is, is still uh, under defined so go to your smart dimension again and just like this line and this line and make the angle 120 degree okay still you can see that i can uh, extend it so go to smart dimension again select this point this point and make it 25 okay so you can see that the sketch is fully defined take this point and uh, now you will see your uh, flange, miter flange. Uh, okay, so select uh, uh, this edge, this edge, and I will not select this edge because I will create a edge flange here. And you can see your uh, uh, parameters. Uh, this one, material outside or inside. Let's zoom it, and now you can see that material inside, material outside, or this one, bend outside. So I'll uh, I'll click here material inside, and also this gap. This gap is uh, uh, one mm. You can change it. Let's say five mm. So you can see this preview. Okay, I think one mm is fine. So let's change it to one mm. Okay, that's fine. And click OK. Uh, next is uh, uh, we will create uh, edge flange. And uh, uh, before going to edge flange, let's flatten it. Go to your flatten, and now you will see. Uh, next is uh, we will go to here edge flange and uh, I will select this edge and the length would be let's say 25 millimeters uh, upside and we can change these parameters like uh, material inside material outside and bend outside bend uh, inside etc okay let's click this and click this okay uh, thickness is uh, 2 mm and uh, we can also change the angle uh, it is uh, uh, 90 degree currently let's change it to 105 you can see the preview let's change it to 90 again and click ok uh, we can also uh, edit this flange but uh, i think it's okay uh, next is uh, i will use uh, a command called hem and you will see these commands when uh, we are dealing with hinges doors lids etc okay so let's select uh, this edge and uh, we can change these parameters let's say 8 so you will see this uh, this length is increased but i think 5 is fine for this okay uh, we can also change some parameters uh, like this one bend outside bend inside 
and closed open uh, etc so click here and uh, now i will use a command called uh, uh, gazette sheet metal gazette and these gazettes are installed uh, to provide uh, reinforcement for your structure so let's click here gazette and uh, select this face this face and now you will see the preview of your gazette okay and uh, you can change this uh, parameter let's say if i can change to 20 uh, no uh, let's change it to let's say 10 uh, smaller dozen and i think it's 15. okay we can change these parameters as well profile d1 d2 a1 a2 uh, from here d1 d2 and a1 and we can also change these parameters right uh, we can change the radius let's say uh, click ok and now you will see a fillet or a radius uh, here uh, we can change it as well right uh, you can see the preview from the back side okay uh, now I will mirror this gazette let's go to feature and uh, let's go to here mirror and first I will select mirror plane and mirror plane would be front plane and i will select this click ok and now you will see the uh, another gazette uh, okay let's go to sheet metal again and uh, let's go to here extruded cut and i will select this plane uh, view normal and let's go to here uh, center point straight slot and I will make a slot here uh, select this origin this one and make it vertical also this dimension is uh, 20 mm and uh, the dimension from here to here is 10 mm it still is, uh, it is uh, underdefined and uh, uh, so let's go to smart dimension again and uh, this one would be 10 mm okay now you can see that sketch is fully defined as uh, the uh, sketch color is black and you will see here as well sketch is fully defined and click here uh, link to thickness and click ok uh, the thickness is uh, 2 mm now you see that uh, the cutout uh, we will mirror this sketch so let's go to features and uh, let's go to here mirror first i will select the mirror plane and uh, mirror plane this time front plane and you'll see the preview and click ok now i will go to sheet metal again and uh, let's uh, flatten this and now you'll see your brick for uh, cnc or uh, cam or uh, 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 laser cutting and lastly, uh, I'll save it as a, a DXF file for machining. So let's go to here, uh, file, save as, and I will change this file type from solid part to, uh, let's say, DXF, this one, and save. And uh, it is asking export as sheet metal, yes. And uh, we can change this output alignment, but uh, it's okay. Click this one. And now you'll see your uh, preview of uh, uh, AutoCAD. Okay, so this file we can uh, export this file to any CAM software uh, for machining, for uh, uh, laser, EDM, wire cut. So save this. So that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial. I hope you like it and uh, we have learned uh, mitre flange edge flange uh, hem sheet metal gazette and uh, cut out mirror etc and uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you